the accepted order of rank of desirable things, according to whether a low, higher, or highest egoism desires the one or the other, now determines whether one is moral or immoral. To prefer a low-esteemed thing, sensual pleasure, for example, to a more highly valued one, health, for example, counts as immoral, as does preferring luxury to freedom. But the order of rank of desirable things is not firm and the same at all times. If someone prefers revenge to justice, according to the standard of an earlier culture he is moral, according to that of ours, immoral. Immoral, therefore, means that one is not yet, or not yet sufficiently sensible, of the higher, more refined, more spiritual motives which a new culture has introduced. It designates one who is retarded, has remained behind, though always it is only a matter of degree. The order of rank of desirable things itself is not erected or altered in accordance with moral considerations, but once it has been established it then determines whether an action is moral or immoral.